Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And I think we need to take a second to really talk about this uh, 256 algorithm. So I, glan I did a glancing run through, um, but have had a lot of time to think about it. So, because there, there's been a lot of confusion. So SHA-256. So we went through this and I just called it 256 on purpose. So, but SHA secure hash oops hash and now i have secure hash algorithm don't know how my insert key got pressed so all right so this is actually the backbone of um cryptography and you've probably heard about it wondered uh, about blockchain so don't want to really go much into it but this is actually the algorithm used for blockchain and i do want to talk about this for a second so i I'm, i jumped across and says the digit size the block was 64 the digit so this the thir 32 32 bytes turns into 256 bits so this is a determinist, deterministic algorithm. No matter the size of the document or size of anything you're passing into this algorithm, you will get 256 bytes out. And you will only get the same 256 if you pass in the exact same object. That's why this is so powerful is that there is no repeat so when you have a 256 long digit i'm not even going to embarrass myself but i want you to think about it so uh what a trillion is 10 digits so just go on it was it was i looked it up one time it's numbers that i've never even heard i think i knew about uh uh quadrillion and then I think I used to know the the ones after after that but you're talking about a digit that is 200 and the length of 256 digits that's why this algorithm is so powerful is that each time you pass something in that is a number that has never ever been seen or used before that's why the blockchain and cryptocurrency is so useful is that these numbers have never been seen before so and there's also randomness to it and as of right now nobody knows the way to reverse engineer so all right just wanted to touch on this for a second real quick video today uh, we will be continuing on but yes bytes and bits so it's eight eight bits for every byte all right make sure I said that right yeah so bits so we pass in 32 bytes we get let's multiply that by 8 we get 256 bytes okay all right there we go all right go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like that and if you have any more questions please drop them uh, down below or jump over to discord um, we're we're uh, having some really good conversations and I think there's another video after we get done with cryptography uh, about uh, about hex hex digits and this is kind of kind of um, in that same na neighborhood but I do want to finish out uh, uh, this password cryptography so as always guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.